Let me try and answer a few questions. What went wrong? Where do we go to now? Is Nsege good enough to stay at Kaiser Chiefs? Is Zwane secretly coaching Chiefs? Let's look at the game and look at all of these things. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a Kusi football club. And it's funny, I, I am just processing the fact that I just said, I'm a Kusi with the usual enthusiasm because we lost again. Uh, so now two league games in a row we've lost. And we've lost against ETS Galaxy. And people will say, hey, Vele, we never win against ETS Galaxy. We are Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, there shouldn't be a small team where we say, oh, we never win against them. That should never, ever, ever be something that comes out of our mouths. We are Kaiser Chiefs. We are a very big team. And it should reflect in the results that we have or that we get when we play against these small teams. However, okay, okay, that didn't happen, we didn't win. And now we are going to talk and also just look at this as well and see, Uguti, where did we actually go wrong in this game? Because we need to know, Uguti, what can Chiefs do better? What was so horrible that cost us the game? So, uh, let's start with the first one. What went wrong? The first thing that went wrong, obviously, if we start in goal, because obviously people are going to point at that Uguti, Pilo, Nyambo, Peter, Sinuako, that you're always protecting. You know, last season, there was one thing, because these two things are related. The goal for it to happen, it started as a mistake, Msimang. That's the first thing that happened. Msimang, was somehow, he became too casual and then he didn't close down his his men in his men quick enough. His man crosses the ball. The man takes a shot. It hits the knee, the, the 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 post, and then it hits to Peterson and it goes in. I've already seen a comment that was talking about me liking to protect to Peterson. But here's my thing. My thing is that the reason why I protect to Peterson and I stick with him, and I would I, I'm likely to stick with players and defend them, is because of the fact that. Um Simango, first game playing for Chiefs. We're talking about how solid he is. The talk how solid he is. All these other guys talking about how solid they are. Ule Modi was playing exceptionally well. Gui 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 arrows. Ubanomun, you put a new kitchen, magu rale em. You understand? Yet Sebifer Gui Chiefs see now it's like they are bad players. Uranga is the same thing. Now he looks like he's a bad player. He's now injured. Wasn't getting injured this much. Last season, he was playing and consistently available for Young. What's the not for e Young for e e Imarumo Kalans? What's the problem? The problem must be with the Chiefs. Uguti. Just the environment. I'm not saying it's 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 the fans. No, I'm not saying it's the fans. But why is it that Om Simango be solid? be good kangak. All of a sudden, they're gonna start making mistakes. Why is it that now during this era of Kaiser Chiefs, all the goalkeepers are making mistakes? People will say, bring us back Ukune, fine. You'll bring back Ukune, but, and I'm not saying, eh, Ukune, uso gwenza ma mistakes na ma bom, but I'm saying, I don't think it's as good as just saying, let's switch Ukune, and then everything will, will, will be there. I'm open to it, right? I'm not gonna stand in their way if they decide, okay, Peterson, enough is enough. Because just after considering the goal, there were a few other chances that he saved, really good save. There was that double save that he made. There was that save that he made. Again, I think there were two saves that I saw. Okay, these were good saves. And each and every game, the problem with Peterson, because we're starting with him, he makes really good saves, but then make really stupid mistakes, right? Yesterday, I wouldn't say it was a mistake, mistake, because the ball was well struck. Yes, I know, Guti, if you're a goalkeeper, you don't get beat when you post. But in that case... It was just well struck. Sometimes balls are well struck, and then he failed to save it. And then on the second, on the second, uh, when it came back to him, it hit him, and that's it. But there's another problem that I will keep on saying. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna save my ball out seven and concede one. Since they're a goalkeeper, you're going to look at that and say they considered that one goal, the easy goal, and save the difficult ones. But it doesn't. They don't get the same treatment as strikers. Strikers can miss five chances in one game. 
think about it if they scored two of those we win the game 2-0 but they miss all of those five goals and score only one and then the team wins and then that's it but if a keeper did the same thing save one chance and concede four then the score ends up being 4-1 and yet you are going to blame the keeper for letting four goals go in and only save one but you're not going to blame the striker for missing four chances and only scoring one you get where i'm going with this peterson makes two brilliant saves or more but he concedes one the score is one nil on the other hand we're not creating any on the other end we're not creating anything and because of that we're not scoring and then we're not winning so then again this is me saying there's something that is wrong with the case achieves that is making these players make all these mistakes and then if we move to 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 our center back pairing then once again i was hey, to the clock was actually not out for a long time and what i will say is that there's something that i saw with the chiefs yesterday uh i thought i changed the scene okay i have now um i saw something that actually made me happy ish because they did this one thing in terms of how our center back pairing was you had umsimango here the clock were here ball with peterson were building up from the back again so you had to stand playing here and building as a back three which is something that i talked about yesterday would see I would rather they play build up like this from the back. But what they did after this is that after having this back three pillar, Umodi stays wide. But you see what there is this gap, this huge gap between these two players. And Begulun Gulum Chita Velangin and Lao Sebele Vimbela Mapasla. And Lamachita press. So now they are coming in because everyone's not scared of achieves apparently. They are trying to close us down. Nabo Paka Ba Pusha La Ba Pusha making sure Guti these guys are not doing anything. Umodi, if he turns, someone is already behind him. Usaele is sandwiched between the two. And then Umbata is right on Umsimango here and blocking the pass to Frosla. And then this guy, Utle Nopotan. So now you have this situation where Chiefs has to build from the back. And we're building like this. Umsimango is here. The clock is kind of here. Sometimes we'll land this here. But this guy will just make that run and block him here. This one will make sure to if Umat gets the ball, he's there with him. He's not going to try and press, but he's just here around Umat. What the Chiefs then did in this case, me, I don't understand, guys. But I wanna, you are in the situation whereby right now, the Chiefs, Ufrosla, since is being put as the widest player, now they took castillo and put him in this half space or sometimes they would even put him as far as here they would bring him simango here which i didn't get they would play castillo here out wide you're gonna see a problem where are these things of drawing here you have you you, you have this issue you have umat against how many test galaxy players now one two three four which means now you are forcing Usaile to drop in and be part of this midfield. Which also means if we see which this situation is bad, because Anula, when he's turning, Upaka is here. So you've taken one man who could add numbers in midfield when we're building up. You've taken him out wide. And already now you have one, two, three, four Test Galaxy players in midfield. So you are already outnumbered in midfield. And my question is, why would you do that? Our midfield is struggling with creativity. Our midfield is struggling with a lot of things. And when are you going to pull out another player, a defensive midfielder, and play him wide, we build up, collect the ball, and Umbata is coming here to block this pass. So what's going to happen then is that U Parker will see who took him and in this case is not really that much of, of a threat. U Parker will stay with this one. Usaili tries to push but he's occupied as well. Usemi can stay with this one. And then Umat is still outnumbered with these two players on him. So already have a problem. Even if you do play this pass to this one, Ulet Angel will be here marking him. Upaka is this man. This is a 2v1. Now we don't have an extra number because Umat is all the way that side. And since we're building with a pack three, that means U. Uhland is also not pushing into midfield. Sometimes it did push and was here and then that would allow 
umati to come down and then maybe Botswana can then come they can try and play this and then Usail will be here and then they play the ball here we saw the chance that we got Uguti that was kind of the setup that we had but for the most part in the setup if you pull a Selig Mat Seligu Castillo Ganji one thing that we're forced to do now is Uguti Castillo doesn't have an option to pass the ball here so he plays the ball back to Msimango and once Msimango has the ball now Umuntu are presser with obviously trying to block this and then there's no pass that can be played here because this guy is lingering Usebelebe Wakona is here Umochela is blocking Ama pass to Umoti so in a way there's no active pass so what do we do? Poop we go long what do we do? Poop we go long what do we do? Poop we go long Ipola goes outside Ligu Titloku Ipola we play the ball to Shanti they block him they block this pass Umati Sabate Bamkatil. So what do we do? Poop. And what's worse is that it has Galax. So what's good with them? Uguti, this thing that I'm showing here, it didn't even exist, Uguti. There was cause here there's space that you can pass the ball to. There was also lit Uguti. If this is the case, maybe Muchela will be here. Making sure good there's no space that's available. Yet at the same time, since I was pressing him here, if the ball has to come too much, there's already someone behind the ball. So now they already have the ball. Now Tlant is Agmele. Abuisi Pola Lai Mova. They come again. They stop us like this. All of a sudden, Ipola have to go long. All the time. All the time we just keep on going long, going long, going long. Because they are not letting us breathe. And why is that? Partly because we have taken a person who could help us in our build up. And we've put him at right back. Because if Guguti, most teams that are trying to play from the back... They will have their center backs here, and then they will have this man over here. And then to make sure what Itimiako is 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 good enough, you 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 don't just you have these two guys. Obviously, you can play the ball to him, but if you play the ball to him, this one will try to press. And if he tries to press this one, now smart players will stand, might pull out and go here. So this one will have to decide: Am I blocking this pass or am I pressing this person? So in most cases, then the players will maybe try and block this pass so that they force the ball to be played centrally. And since Umat is kind of occupied, then the ball can be played to Castillo. If it's played to Castillo, this one is trying to move. This one moves here, and then the pass is played to him. If this one is, is, is coming to Titlokwe, then that's where the ball can then, once again, be played to Lant. And then Lant now has a free space. Umodi can make this run. Umat can make this supporting. This one obviously moves across. But at this point, you also have Castillo who adds and takes away this man from here. And already you have these one, two, three, four players who are here outnumbering them. And if you are forcing Ites Galax in this way to kind of, if you are adding an extra number and then someone will have to be worried by Castillo, you still have a situation where one of your players, at least Utland, will have the ball. And if he has the ball, this guy has to make a decision. Usebeleb, do I stay wide and mark him? Because... If I stay wide and mark him, then I vacate in this place. You am marking Castillo. So if I stay with him, then that will force Usemi to be here. And if Usemi is here, the ball can easily be played across. And then Umtanzan has the ball and is free. Since Law is man marking Umat and Law is man marking Castillo, then what happens next is Upaka needs to make a decision to come to Umtanzan. That frees Upotan. Upotan is free. And what happens is Umo Chela and I might have to say, okay, fine, Parker press this one, I press this one. But then what happens once again, you're opening this channel and then the ball can be played into the space. If this one comes deep, Ushandi can overlap, Umat can also make something happen in the space. This one tracks back, um, ooh, he's still the Ocastillo is adding numbers. You see, good, if he's central, there are a lot of movements and numbers that change just by a mere effect of him being in central. But the moment he's here, you are already giving them a numerical advantage. And that is why we're never, ever, ever going to do anything and be successful in our build-up. Because we have taken a person who can help in our build-up and you've played him in a half space or even pushed him into a white space. With central space, they win the ball back and now we're in trouble because the person who could be there, who could be helping us destroy is not there and because since this thing since since this thing couldn't happen even since we couldn't have a situation because Castillo is here Msimangulao, Titlokula since we are so deep like this 
It is Galaxy is very comfortable. Ugu talking zone card. Umati na ula. Because now he can't move and make these white. Because basically now you are living Umtansan on his own. So you're having to leave Umat being the one who's central. And Umtansan is trying to go and collect the ball. But omo chela ba nai. Umat every move is making. This guy is here. Yabo guti there ba extra less swing. Nishoktualo is keeping it with low. Can still have freedom of going that wide. And then it's actually the same who's gonna be here. And Uvital is the one who's gonna say. So they still have this numerical advantage. Because they're not worried about these ones. The moment these ones get the ball, we are pressed. The moment he gets the ball, he are pressed. The moment he gets the ball, we are pressed. Even if Kuganji, because if this one is pressing and this one is staying with Umat, and this one is just kind of roaming around, making sure that the pass doesn't go wide. You see, we already have a situation that is very difficult. It's very, very difficult. Paka is his man. This one stays with this one, so there's no direct pass. This one can stay here if the ball is here. No direct pass. <coughs> Kunzima. Kunzima. Why are you taking Ukasti and playing him out wide? So Kuluma how even going to get to the situation where we are creating? We are not going to get there because we can't even get out of our of our um, first like third of our, of the pitch. So since we can't do that, then we're in trouble. And then the Chiefs could not do anything in the game. And Bonabebe's presser and Tinabe's number press. So it, it, it's it's weird because we sometimes we are thinking it's easy for us to try and be defensive because we fear Uguti they will beat our press and then they are gone. But it is galaxy guys i understand that's not good enough that's not good enough and i i actually when we were traveling back i met those guys in bts galaxy and i asked them which, what was chiefs's biggest weakness ha huh, i should have put the picture here i think i have it uh, but it's gonna be those post i'm uh Uguti, what was our biggest weakness as the chiefs and they refused to tell me they said because Sazo lalan up uh but I think yes, someone will say oh they were lucky to score a goal. I don't think Mangoba Mnati said foot it wasn't him. It's just a saying that says when opportunity meets preparedness, they, you call it luck. It's not really luck. Because if you don't take that shot, then it doesn't bounce off the keeper and go in. They did it. If you don't defend that well, if you don't press that well and organize your team that well. Because if you look also, just by the way, I, I just want to say this. Eh, oh, If you look, by the way, on the, um, one of the ways that the, 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 fo the formation was shown is that actually Tess Galax were playing of, with something of some sort of a diamond. And then Uvital was playing on the left. Sebeleb on the right. Upaka was here. And then, yeah, and then Usemi was here. So that's that's another setup they were showing. But still, if they're showing a setup like this, that still proves my point, Uguti. KTS Galax had four people in the midfield, and Tina only had Umat, Nomtanzan. So Vele, there was never a way for them. Close down, close down, we're done. And then these two, all they're doing is just pressing whoever has the ball, depending on who it is. Yeah, but in both setups, each Chiefs is screwed. If it is Galaxy comes out with 4231, Chiefs are screwed. If it Chiefs, if it tests Galaxy are playing 442 Diamond, we are still screwed because silence between these two. This one's staying with this. This is occupying Frostler nicely. Upotsan is being marked by Vidal. These ones are like this. And here's the nice thing for them, ne? Is that if Umat somehow be to Shabalev, they still will send me to come and clean up. Futaksu semi, it's another surname, man. Uh, I forgot. I think Unamba. What's his name? What's his name, man? Ulumchitalo, I'm trying to show you. Yeah, Umbunjana, yes, that's his name, Umbunjana. It's not semi. Uh, Umbunjana Lobela. Sorry. So, Umbunjana is always is always there, free to mop up. So, Matt, Matt gets away, he can mop up real quick. Tanzania gets away from Park and Bunjana is here to clean up. So they also they are already numerically superior over us, but they also have a person there to clean up. So they have men for men and a free man on top. Also, if they are playing the ball somehow in the midfield, 
they also have numerical advantage so it was already a a a a a, 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 a knockout for the chiefs and they had no chance and also okay, say abon guti chiefs there's a mismatch all of that is happening why are we making changes so late right why are we making changes so late because when um, um dude did come in he did make a difference why do we never substitute umat hear me hear me hear me i'm not saying umat is sucked and he should have been taken off but there are games where a player is just not making a difference in a game not because we are boys because the corner boys guys you understand there is just a time you're good to know the players just this is not their game right that is, it doesn't mean they are bad it's just not their game like the champ the shunt the champ with france when he saw Guti, if france was struggling against argentina he took out to Chirut, one of their most critical players he took out to Griezmann, one of their most critical players they were not bad they were not bad they were not horrible it just wasn't their game this is a world cup final these are two people who have played in a world cup final and helped him win the world cup final but he did take out Uchirud in that final why because at some point he just realized Uguti playing Mbappe wide is making a team not perform because Mbappe is not going to track back so make Mbappe number nine find someone who's going to track back and play as a winger so what are you going to do I'm going to sacrifice my best striker in the world cup well good striker because Mbappe is a winger so I'm going to sacrifice someone in order for this tactical setup to work Tina will take too long to change things even though we considered a goal five minutes after the change and then we make our first sub after 60 minutes well it was our second sub because we had already made a sub also since we had gotten a man injured we had Uranga getting injured in the first half that means we we're left with two slots to make subs because you have five subs but you can only use them three times you can do the changes three times I wonder i have actually never checked if that's relevant in sa i think it is but why not come back at half time having changed something because clearly something wasn't working mutants i know was just not working right so why keep him right don't don't keep him on if born which is not performing hear me because i i never even if when zega somehow people watch 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 youtube I never want these players to watch this channel and think oh, we are struggling with it. And I'm not going to say that, but I am saying, Guti, I don't want Amachi Tanabu if somehow they watch the channel at some point to think I am. I am saying he Baba Boza. No, I think sometimes the game gains are going to taxi Iako, and sometimes you need to be taken out and for someone else to come in and they can do a better job. For instance, um, um, tum tanzane could be out and then some girl could come in he's more physical right um tum tanzane is smaller some girl is younger but bigger like in size and he can help compete physically and also with regards to his ability in playing ama one two and combining na nom to do the shabalala if you bring him on early if they are pressing their energy they are young they're energetic bring that bring that hunger see what they do instead of holding on to this is my squad until the 70th minute Otsane was tired take him out umodi has not adjusted take him out understand Upule Modi, for instance this guy just lost his mom like he buried his mom like i think a week ago right so mentally he's also i don't think he's like in the best possible shape mentally like losing your mom it can't be easy i can't imagine how it's like and 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 Besides Uguti, he lost his mom. Even without losing his mom, there would still be that element, Uguti. I am new to this team and I need time. I remember last year, not last year, two years back, Iman City signed to Jack Relish once again. I don't like even Iman City. They signed to Jack Relish. He comes into Iman City for 100 million and Upep doesn't play him. People start laughing because that's what we do as football fans. I should share my conclusions. Hey, Jack Grealish is a flop. Or Jack Grealish is this and this. And 100 million flop. No. Pep was slowly but surely integrating him into his system. And he did. And look at how, how well he was performing last season. I would argue which is one of the reasons why they won the Champions League. Because he was marking, was playing as a, as a left wing back Women's City at, at times. 
he was doing better in London with Liverpool, but I feel ashamed to say he was doing more defensive work than Utrend. You understand? Who is the right back who actually is supposed to defend? So he integrated him slowly but surely. But if you look at Chiefs, you have Titlock, you have Msima, both are new. Go to midfield, you have Kasti, you have Mtanzan, both are new. That's four. Up front, you have Upotane in our starting lineup, you have Uranga, and then you have. Who's this guy? Uh, Umud. Seven of our new signings start. How are we going to have combinations? Because we've just kind of gotten rid of everyone from last season and brought in everyone. I get the back line. But in midfield, if you see Gutimo, Mdanzan is not working today. Mdu is used to this. Um, Shin is used to this. He's played in the system. But I would say... One of the key and most important things from this game, I think, was the coach's setup. It always is. Coach's setup, but then again, if you see good, my setup is bad. You come back second half, you make tweaks, but we didn't even make tweaks. Because sometimes you make tweaks, sometimes you make huge changes. In this case, we just needed to just put Ukastio back into midfield. In this case, I even said... Usail is a very good player, but don't do not bring him on and play him as a nine. But rather bring on him to who can link and make a run. Because if he's playing as a false nine, he can drop into midfield, make that 4v4. But if he catches the ball, he can combine quickly with whoever is in midfield who will then play the ball wide. Umtu can then sprint into the box because he's quicker than Uranga. Because one of the reasons why Uranga might be injured is because of this thing. Yoguti drops into midfield, tries to collect the ball, and then has to sprint to the other side. And when he does that, he ends up pulling something. Kandutum too, with that energy, he can do that. Link, make a run. Ebola is wide. It's played across. He's there to finish it off. Uma cut back. Simple things like that. No, when Fagu Saile, who yes, physically can try and compete, but EETS Galaxy are also very physical. So don't do that. Bring someone else who's Lalisi Pola as soon because they know it has galaxy guys. It team doesn't press you like this. They don't they don't press you like this as a ganje look pressella. Lonata, you know what? Pressalo. Ubon Ubazu and Sanjan. When I'm Bunjana this time so pressalo. So I'm coming to press you. So basically Peterson has two options now. You can't play the ball here, but also it's too risky to play Tum Simang because if you try this, this one is pressing. So in a way, he's pressing good. You're not playing with clock. You're not playing with Lanti. So Shabelele can just lean around here with it. They play the ball to him. So what option is he left with? Unless this one drops, which will invite him to drop. Then the ball is played here. But then again, these guys have energy. Bazo track. Says Valele Gilege Manje Futi. Because Nalozo Buya Futi. Atlale no Kasti. So Nalom Negezi ball. And then once again, press against Uguti. You can't play the ball to him. So since we don't carry the ball that much, we just play this pass. Just play this pass. They know, they knew, they set up in a way that they would force us all the time to go long. And we did go long. And it's been going on too long. And Amazulu, they beat us for in last season. And they were not in the greatest of forms. Nyai FNP. Siabonga Juguti this time around the game is close. Yeah, FNP, and I'm scared. I'm scared for my life because I think we might lose again. Uh, it's sad. So is this egg good enough for Chiefs? That's a question that you guys are going to answer. I'm not going to answer such questions. But what else did you think about the game? I didn't do player ratings. Look at that. Um, <laughs> can I make player ratings in 30 seconds? I would say Peterson gets a 5. Uh, he did make good saves, but once again, he... His Peterson and you can do better, obviously, we near post. Right back, Frostler did not contribute much, but also the way he was placed was not that great. Actually, Peterson, I would give him a 6.5 because he did make a save. Frostler had a below average game, 5. Clanty, 5. Msimango made a very bad mistake, but it was still solid, so I would give him a 6. Ditloque also a quiet game, 6. Midfield, Castillo, the way he was set up, he had no impact whatsoever. But no, both of him would match, so both of them would get a 5. A 10, Umtu, Ish, was I'm actually, let me put these guys at 6, because Umtu is like at 5, Umtanzan. 
and then you have Upotsane uh, still not fit another five. You have Umudi not fit at all. Hasn't 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 he hasn't adapted to the system. Another five. You have Ranga gets injured. Won't rate him. To Usaile try to make lemons out of lemon lemonade out of lemons, but nah, enjoy me five. There was no player who did well. Uh, the setup was not great. I think um Lalo Zewa figure out something was actually um to do Shabalala because he was pressing and that's what I was talking about. Energy, youthfulness and hunger would have helped. Some girl of Tata was um Lalsa deep and they kept too much. I don't get that. Now some girl was shame. Five, six, nyana, um to seven. And um Tsegi one in Jebafe to um because you cannot not make changes if you see Guti the team is not performing well ha that was the quickest player ratings i've done in my life thank you so much for watching guys and until next time remember equals i'll pay you more